So a new discovery. Antarctica. Penguins. It's cold, Basil. It's cold. Antarctica. Go Interesting engineering.com. A stratospheric balloon will lift NASA telescope over Antarctica. Wow, what an interesting engineering. The telescope will study stardust from the stratosphere. Hmm. Oh, so it's. It's not looking down at Antarctica. It's a it's a balloon telescope. Yeah, Interesting. It says here, as part of its scientific balloon program, NASA <laughs> launches 10 to 15 balloon missions into the Earth's atmosphere every year. For an upcoming mission, NASA is using a balloon that is the size of a football field. What? And its telescope has giant mirrors plated with nickel and gold. The space agency said in a press release. Is that just for opulence, the gold? Yeah. It's is, just, that like, is there a practical use for that? Or they're like, let's just off. light it in gold. It's to show off for the aliens. <laughs> you know, you don't there, think so. There's that fun um, theory in, in ufology or the study of aliens that that gold is just as impressive to them as it is to us. Like because yeah. of its technological qualities, you know, it's very mm-hmm. conductive. It works right. very well in electronics. Um and that's part of why they sent the golden record up there because mm-hmm. yep. it's like to show the aliens we have gold. So, like, come say hi, <laughs> which is a weird sort of bait. Well, it's part of the, the ancient astronaut theory narrative. Remember that, the yeah. you know, we're mining for gold or we, we were digging for gold. We created slaves to dig for gold for the aliens. We I think were that's what it was. Slave we were the slave race, race yeah. that, that that was, uh, yeah, digging out all the gold for the, the reptiles. Also, the plot of the movie Cowboys and Aliens with Olivia Wilde. Ooh. Not a good movie, but it does have Olivia Wilde. So, well, what are you going to do? NASA space telescopes might be grabbing all the headlines, but the space agency also relies on humble balloons to demonstrate new technology as well as carry out research about Earth's atmosphere, study the sun or even the universe at large. The balloon based mission may not look swanky. I mean, it's plated in gold, apparently. (laughs) But okay. No, it's okay. All right. They called it a humble balloon. They said it doesn't look swanky. Why are they trying to downplay this yeah. golden <laughs> plate? Is, is it a sarcastic thing? Telescope. Going on or? Maybe they're trying to uh t- to discourage looters. Balloon yeah, maybe, looters. Maybe. Yeah. It's plated in gold, but it's nothing. It's not <laughs> swanky or anything like that. Uh, but typically costs less and moves faster from planning to deployment. If this has given you the impression that these missions are any less complex to put together, then you need to read further to know about Astrophysics Stratospheric Telescope for high spectral resolution observations at submillimeter wavelengths mm. or Astros. A-S-T-H-R-O-S. Astros. Astros. That's a that weird is one. scheduled to be deployed in December 2023. What will Astros mission do when launched? Astros will rise to the altitude of 130,000 feet, about 40,000 meters above Antarctica to observe wavelengths in the far infrared region blocked by the Earth's atmosphere. By looking at these wavelengths, scientists will attempt to understand how clouds and gas dusts, uh, which are dispersed in galaxies, can also stop the formation of a star. Okay, the mission will look at distant galaxies containing millions of stars to understand how stardust and gas interact with other processes such as eruptions from living stars or deaths of massive stars. During the four-week mission, Astros will create a high-resolution 3D map of the distribution and motion of the gas in our galaxy. Wow. The press release says so a lot of a lot of star stuff, I guess. A giant mirror critical to the mission. If this mm-hmm. telescope wants to map the gas in the galaxy, it's going to have to turn around and look at Gonza's house after dinner. After. Wow. After- <laughs> wow. Okay. 
That's uh, that's good. That was a good what, one. Uh, that was a good one. Good um, old fart joke. But uh, yeah, you got babies, man. Babies fart all the time. Yeah. Um, okay, so balloon telescope looking at gas. Hmm. Yeah. Where does this fit in? Where does this well, fit in? So we got the giant mirror on the thing too. So uh, uh-huh. let's see. The primary mirror construction was recently completed by putting together nine panels, nine for each mm. one of the nine mm-hmm. council of nine of course. ascended masters Indeed. using lightweight aluminum and a honeycomb structure mm. for the hive the mind, hive of mind. course. Yes. Has the, helped bees, re- the bees are also fish. Fish yes. are bees. bees yes, are fish. fish are bees. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, the ideological but, colonization of the mm-hmm. great white desert. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it all connects. Honeycomb structures helped reduce the mass of the mirror. The surface panels are made from nickel and coated with gold. Wow, so lots, the of, lots of material talk. Lots of yeah, materials material talk. talk on this sucker. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, and this is what's interesting. I think this is... This is a quote. I think this is probably the most complex telescope ever built for a high altitude balloon mission, which I, I don't know. Is that the, what, what's the, the, the development, you the know, most the, the level of evolution? Balloon. <laughs> Said Jose it's Siles. Tax the, dollars at work, folks. <laughs> NASA making the most complicated balloon satellite or balloon. Uh, uh, telescope said Jose Silas, the Astros project manager at JPL Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the place where Jack Parsons, the occultist, started all that rocketry mm-hmm. and and mm-hmm. rituals in the desert. Quote: We had specifications similar to a space telescope, but on a tighter budget, schedule, and mass. We had to combine techniques from ground-based telescopes that observe in similar wavelengths with advanced manufacturing techniques used for professional racing sailboats. Whoa. With the primary <laughs> mirror completed, Media Laro will deliver the telescope later in July, following which the Astros team will put together uh will put it together with other key p- components and the giant balloon, paving the way for flight testing. So I'm I'm just looking forward to footage of a football field sized balloon carrying yeah. this this arc lined in gold which will tell us all the secrets of the universe i don't know it's very ritualistic if you ask me yeah it has like a real wonders of the world type of feel the antarctica uh, thing notwithstanding i mean that whole thing just (laughs) signal i mean there's no point to mention it other than we are going to hover antarctica Mm -hmm. yeah it's like a giant floating balloon base over yeah. Antarctica, which sounds dangerous. I mean, uh, images of the, uh, oh, what was that blimp called? The Hindenburg. The images uh, of the yes. Hindenburg. It's like a really fancy Hindenburg. Uh, I think coincidentally, the Hindenburg also had lots of gold in there. You oh, know, it was a fancy, maybe this is a setup. Maybe it's a, a signal. Yeah, it's the Hindenburg of science. Oh, if we, I mean, especially if we have a, a football field sized. How big was the Hindenburg? I, how long was that thing? I think it's pretty I, I'm big. I'm starting to think. I'm like, wait a minute. That, that thing was pretty big. It was pretty big. I think like a football. I think that's like a. I think that's not a crazy size for blimps. That's Isn't what I'm like thinking. The, the Goodwill. The Goodwill. The Goodwill blimp. <laughs> the yeah. Goodyear the, blimp. The Goodyear. Yeah. Yeah. The Goodyear blimp. And well, Goodwill may have been in there too. 804 they, feet. They would land on football fields and it kind of fit fit in there it's pretty big hindenburg 803 feet 804 feet that is that can't be it that that's got to be the, the like the cabin or something well, 100 a, yards is a football what, field. 350 feet mm, yes so an 800 foot oh yeah you're right that's like a yeah an 800 that's like Two and a half football fields. Two and a half football fields. That might is it a square? Anyways, it's a big, (laughs) it's a big balloon. We get it. Now here's an idea, Gons. Uh We talk about Antarctica. It's that's used as sort of the scientific and ideological utopia promised by sort of the the liberal future uh, of humanity. It's the place that's going to save us. It's Mm -hmm. mostly for science. We got to protect the science. No politics allowed. Etc. Now, I just, uh, we've got this big, beautiful balloon. Oh, big, beautiful balloon. It's humble. 
yet shiny. I mean, the balloon is not shiny, but you get the point. This humble, beautiful giant in the sky. And uh, he's floating along. He's taking it easy. He's going slow. What message would this send to us? Well, he turns his telescope up towards the sky, looking for gas, trying to map the gas throughout the universe. And uh, Bloomberg.com here, a headline just came across. U.S. will face high gas prices as long as it takes. (laughs) Biden right. says. So you've got high, <laughs> like a balloon up in the sky, gas, you got mapping the gas in the universe, prices, like the gold being used on the telescope. So I think Biden is sending us a message that we will face, we'll be looking at this balloon <laughs> in the sky for a, as long as it takes. How long? As long as it takes for, uh, the balloon to <laughs> fix the gas prices. I I couldn't finish wow. it out there, but you get it. But uh, maybe, Antarctica uh, is the solution to the gas prices. I, I will be very impressed if there if that we can find in this. You know, we we will be looking for a decrease in gas price as the blimp descends. Uh-huh. If we can find some kind of time overlap or uh, you know. Uh, correlation between the yeah. height and the yeah, feet like with get, the price. Like it's a barometer of gas prices. Well, I don't like where that's headed then because they haven't launched this thing yet. So, uh huh. Well, maybe it's opposite. Gonna, it's an inverse. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Okay. Inverse. So it's pulling up. So the higher the balloon bring, oh, goes, okay. the lower the prices go. Oh, it's we're like a pressure system. Out. Sure. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay. All yeah. right. I'm glad you brought all that together. We got them together. Mm hmm. I'm, and- glad- <laughs> I'm glad you connected. Well, let's high see. Gas, <laughs> high gas prices. And that's, that's some real high level dot connecting. But there on. was more to it. He uh-huh. says, as long as it takes. Uh, to, uh, to, so Russia cannot, in fact, defeat Ukraine and move beyond Ukraine. Oh, right. So we got to keep an eye on this blimp for as long as it takes to defeat Russia, which means. We might as well just get pretty good at riding bicycle scones. Well, what if Russia shoots this thing down? Because mm. remember, they've been causing havoc in, Ru- in they, uh, Antarctica. Yeah, there remember? has been a little bit of a little bit of push and pull in Antarctica. Yeah, yeah. So, the Russians take down the big, beautiful <laughs> golden balloon, and uh, that okay. You know, I, it's I think we're done with the show. <laughs> That's we can't what stop sets talking about World this. War III. Big, bold, beautiful Big, blimp. Man. Bold, beautiful blimp. Bodacious. National average gasoline price hit a record this month, above $5 a gallon. But thanks to a gigantic, golden, beautiful balloon, Biden ordered a historic release from the reserves. Oh, and can you imagine? Can you imagine the uh, when, they, when, when Putin shoots this thing down? The gold. Mm-hmm. The gold Just shooting down a just precious gold. gold. He needs the gold because the aliens are going to stop him from launching the nukes. He has to right. pay the nuke toll. Pay, pay the nuke toll to the gotta, aliens. If you want to <laughs> launch your nukes, gold. you got to give them some high oh level inter, intergalactic economists Can we? are setting the prices <laughs> on the nuke toll. It's mm-hmm. just all connected, you know. It's a complex systems theory. Uh, nothing, nothing is not connected to nothing, you know. Everything is connected to everything, but it's not because if it is, then it's not. Mm. I think we mm-hmm. nailed this one. 